challenges I face in everyday life. Well, my biggest, my biggest challenge personally would be having to fit into a new environment. Um, I'm originally from London, so being used to London life and the busyness and the buses and cars and people, and then coming out here to study for three years is it's a daunting task. So I would say just trying to fit into the community and be, be, be part of it, because it's, it's, it's going to be my home for the next three years, or, or has been my home. So I would say that's, that's one of the biggest challenges for me. I wouldn't say I've been discriminated against. I mean, there's certain things that I haven't been able to do because of it, but I wouldn't say I've personally faced uh, discrimination. I might have, but it might not have been like directly to me. It may have been an indirect form of discrimination. But um, for example, like applying for a job and um, not getting it because I'm in a wheelchair, that is probably an indirect form of discrimination, but it's not, it's not immediate, like it's not obvious. So I wouldn't say I faced it personally, but indirectly, yes, I may have. But I don't let it get me down. I pick myself back up and yeah. Personally, I think if more is done within a community, then I think some of these challenges could be prevented. Um, I think when I say more could be done within the community, I think there needs to be more awareness of people who have disabilities and more, um, more awareness to people within the community, within the government, so they can come together and say, like, we need to make changes to the way um, people with disabilities are seen and the way they're accepted. There's been a big improvement in, like, um, the way people with disabilities are perceived. And I think that's a good look. The university is actually pretty good. Like I would say, I've this is my third year of uni now. I've, I've studied here for a while, so um, I would say it's pretty good. Like the lifts are usually, like they're usually they're usually really good, but occasionally they, they break. Like if I need to get to class and I'm run, like I'm already running late, there's a couple of times where the lift will be out of service for like 10 minutes, and then all of a sudden start working again. So I, I, it's a minor issue. But at the same time, it's a big one as well because it could affect like my entire day, depending on where my class is. But I would say, on a positive note, that it's been pretty successful. Just because you you have a disability shouldn't stop you from 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 being able to come to university and being able to achieve where you want to get to, because you can you can get there. And I would say I'm a, I'm an example of that. So learn from this and like follow from it and just achieve your best. <laughs> <laughs>